Ask Laston, episode 14. Question from India. What is high compression tempered glass? When is it used? How is it made? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of it? Process-wise, high compression glass is made the same way as tempered glass. Two things you have to change though. You must heat the glass more and you must use more pressure in the chiller zone. That's the way you get high compression glass. Uh, the places you can use high compression glass is uh, fire resistant applications and uh, applications where you may have to reheat the glass so that may cause some annealing. The biggest disadvantage in fire resistant glass is that it might more likely break on the edges. Western from Canada. We have a problem where we are seeing pitting or hot spots. I'm aware this can be caused from three different things. Too hot temperature, too long heating time or dirty rollers. My question is, can you tell the difference visually if the marks on the glass are from too much heat or dirty rollers? It's very difficult, almost impossible to see it visually. With a microscope or magnifier lens, you could be able to determine if the mark is a crater type on the glass which is related to the roller quality or closer to an air bubble which is related to too hot tempering. Usually, if the glass, glass has these markings and the roller quality is extremely good and the temperatures are good and low, it indicates that the glass is traveling on the edges, which means that there is too much convection or too much temperature from the top, especially if the markings are on the edges. Or the temperature is even in the center of the furnace, but not in the edges, which are overheating and causing the markings on the edges of the glass. 